Good afternoon, you guys. So, I am just getting ready for the day today, and I figured I would show you kind of what I do on a daily basis. So, um, I got some new makeup, actually, to play with. So, I figured I would show you guys and just kind of do, like, a little first impression of, like, what I'm using. My hair is sopping wet. I'm letting it air dry. If you guys watch, have watched some of my videos before, I do have curly hair and I hardly use heat on it when I have it curly. So um, I'm letting it air dry. It should be very interesting because I didn't use any gels or curl cream. I just do, did a little bit of oil and I'm letting it air dry. So I have a feeling it's going to be frizzy, but I don't know. So First things first, I did put moisturizer on my face. I put um, that Super Goop. I just recently purchased this. This is Super Goop Glow Screen, SPS, SPF 40 in it. I've been using this kind of as my primer. Um, it works really well. We've been out on the lake a lot and my face has not one time gotten burnt, which is great. I'm trying to avoid that at all all costs. I've also been wearing a hat too, so that kind of helps. Um, but I recently picked up this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 as well. So between the two of them, I got lots of SPF, but I do like this because it's glowy. And if you guys I've... have been around for a while, you guys know I love glowy skin. It's like my favorite thing, especially in the summertime too, this is a skin tint. So it's a very, very light weight. Um, there's not a ton of coverage. And one thing you do have to remember too with this, I've been using this for a little bit now, but it has SPF in it. So it is very dewy and glowy. So if you're oily, you might not necessarily love this just because it is very, um, very glowy. You kind of have to set this just a little bit. But I really like it because it's a very light coverage. And in the summertime, I don't like anything super heavy on my face. So I got this in the color Coconini. I have been really loving this. You can see it gives a little bit of coverage, um, but not super a ton, which I like but it also protects your face too, which is really great. Okay, so I just picked, I haven't even tried this yet. I just got this yesterday. It is Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. I normally use the Nudies stick, but I wanted to try this one. My friend got it. I was like, hey, you know what? I wanna try this baby out. So I just do it like I would normally put bronzer around the forehead, here a little bit. This thing is very, this is a very chubby stick. Okay, so I do that and then I take this little kabuki brush, it's just an angled one. And I blend it in. I can't see that well, but it looks like it's blending in very nicely. I got this in the color um, baked and it is a matte one but I really like um, super been into liquid bronzer liquid highlight liquid blush it's like my jam I love it so much okay so after I do the bronzer which I'm really liking I take this new concealer that I just got this is the hourglass vanish concealer and I have been loving this this is apps you don't need a ton it, it does have a lot of coverage but um so it's full coverage kind of like the tart shape tape however it is way more hydrating i cannot i've tried and tried and tried doing you can see how much that helps so much um i've tried using the the tart shape tape but just at the end of the day, I honestly feel like it gets so dry under my eyes. It looks, it just looks really patchy and bad. And um, so I tried this baby out and I have been loving it so much. I'm just gonna put a tad here. It blends out really nicely too. Also, um, I just got these beauty blenders off of Amazon and 
been really liking them too. I got one from Target and I did not like that one. It was really hard and it didn't absorb very well. So I felt like I was kept pressing into my face. But this one, really like. Okay, so since that's done, I'm gonna take my nudie stick in Sunkissed. And this is just a blush. It looks crazy at first, but you just blend it out. Um, I just use a regular blush brush. And I just pat it and bring it back. Okay, then I blend that under my eyes. And then I got this new highlighter from Becca and I am so pumped about this. So I normally use the Becca highlighters. However, they stopped um, making them and they reformulated to this which it looks a little iridescent. There's like, it looks like there's some green and some pink, I don't know. But I haven't tried this yet, so I'm very excited. So when you pick out the colors, this is what it looks like. I got passion. Um, when you pick out the colors online, you look at what your skin tone is and you pick from there. And so I picked passion. It kind of said too, like if you like, ooh you like champagne pop which I love champagne pop I use champagne pop all the time I really like that it's it looks super super pigmented on your hand but once you put it on and blend it in it doesn't look as crazy as you thought like I was like oh my god it's like chrome after that, I take my Makeup Forever Blurring Foundation, and this is, holy crap, so amazing. I got the color R230, and oh, hey, you scared me. I did not even see I you. I kept like creeping up and creeping up. <laughs> I'm like, like <laughs> da -na 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 -na. seriously, not even paying attention. I could hear you here but anyways so i take this foundation and blur like just do it just a little bit under the eyes and it is seriously it like it is game changer then i take a little bit of translucent powder put it everywhere and i go under my cheeks here just to contour and bronze up just a little bit And then I got a new bronzer, which I have been absolutely in love with. So it is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. It is so pretty, you guys. What I think I like about it too is that it has some, it's like a glowing foundation. It's not totally matte. There is some shimmer in it, but it's not like shimmery, glittery, crazy which I really, really can appreciate because I cannot handle too much. I like glowy skin, but if your bronzer is too glowy, it just looks like too much. And this one's just the perfect amount. I love that. I love that bronzer. It is so nice, you guys. It just, okay, now I'm gonna wipe off that the rest of that translucent powder kind of everywhere. I might do a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Actually, I'll just I should finish my face. Let me finish my face. <laughs> I'm gonna take my blush, Nars Dolce Vita. This is an oldie but a goodie. I can't stop using this one. Um, this one I've had forever and I've not even hit pan on it yet, but it's a very, so it's very dark. When you look at it, you're kind of like, oh, that is scary. But, um, it looks, even if you have lighter skin tone, I've used this on my best friend who's lighter skin tone than me and, um, it looks really pretty. So you just have to use tiny, tiny bit. 
and it looks different on everyone like on her it's not like this really dark blush it's just this really pretty color i don't even know how to describe it i should put it on her so you should, that was her um so you guys can see okay so i use that and then i use champagne pop to set the highlighted areas that i already did a little bit on my nose a little bit on my cheekbones really like that liquid highlighter i didn't know if i was gonna like it i was like oh my gosh this looks like crazy town but it looks really good okay i'm gonna spray my face really quick i am going to off camera do my my eyebrows and my mascara because none of those are new that i'm using for that i use a lot of setting spray um i feel like the more setting spray i use the more my face looks less powdery the more my face looks less you know what i mean <laughs> but and then i tap it with my beauty blender to just get all of that in there okay i'm gonna do my eyebrows and my mascara off camera and i will be right back okay i just finished my makeup i just add i just did my brows and my mascara which i have been using i got this like gucci mascara when sephora was having a sale and i put um this Tarte Fake Awake in my waterline, and then my Marc Jacobs um, Gel Definer. I don't know what I can't remember what it's called. Um, it doesn't say. I so, that. It's amazing. Um, this stuff like does not budge. It is so good. Um, I wear contacts, and I have to have something that like stays. And this Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner is the best. It literally doesn't budge, and it's so so black. Um, so I put the black up in my um, top waterline here and then the nude one on the bottom. And that is it. I will have everything that I use linked below, but this is just the finished look. This is just like my daily. The gel eye easy. crayon. Highliner pen. That's mm -hmm. what it's called. I knew it was like, I kept thinking it was like definer pen or something like that, but high, the Marc Jacobs highliner pen. Um, this wish I had like better light. The light is like kind of funky. But um, this is my everyday just like makeup routine and luckily got some new stuff to play with today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thumbs up if you want more.